Feature Friday. The freshest. <sighs> this is actually a really good request because um, it's completely raw. It's not just the post-produced version that everyone got to see televised. We're getting a live experience Correct. with Forestella. Awesome footage. Um, when I saw a little bit of it, I was like, wow, we have to really do a review of this. And Baleska is actually familiar with this song. I don't know anything about this show. Paul, do you know the film, The Greatest Showman? No, this I don't the... know the film. No, 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 I'm talking to the audience. Oh. <laughs> I know that you don't know. Zac Efron's in that, isn't it? <laughs> yes, that's and right. And Wolverine as well. It's in there. That's right. Let's give it a watch. Oh, stuff, I was really low. <laughs> oh, those are bright vocals. I thought that was like track. Nope. Oh, damn. Got a drum kit here. Oh, That's the minor percussionist. Dude. This is the drum kit. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment you've been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen. For Stella. Cool! Bro, what a production! It's like a fan camp. Oh, I'd love to see them live, live. Same. Have they ever toured outside of Korea? I Whoa. think so. Look at them. <laughs> now the crew's here. That's really good to see that they can always remain so commercial, yet maintain the quality really high. World class <laughs> show, what the <laughs> hell? That feels like their opening show as well. I think it is the opening number. Just holy shit. It's the girls. The girls are doing God's work here. Yeah, they really chose high quality backing up, backing up this. Gosh. I don't know if that's the ending or the beginning of that show. No, but I think that, was, that, that has big opening you think? vibes, yeah. It's interesting because all, all the timbers work really well with that type of style. But well, yeah. it, it's also like uh, when you match it up with the girls and then the big ass production and stuff, it's like, God damn. It was a really great show. I, I I think I got lost just into the technicalities in my mind. I really because you see when you do musical theater, you really have to take into consideration that on on the theater, the dynamics and the sound production is completely different to what it is with a live music show. So you have a completely different set of expectations for the sound, for the performance. There is no shebang, there are no fireworks, it's all very organic. And it, the acoustics are completely different. But because this comes from a film, 
all of those expectations are thrown out the window and then multiplied by 10 because you can do the impossible in studio. You can really bring a brand new color, a brand new light, a brand new depth into the songs that are meant to be done in the theater. So when you see this type of performances, right, that have been completely stripped away from the production aspect of a film and brought into a stage through human touch, through human musicians and human voices, the whole the whole mood changes and it's actually way more impactful than it was the first time you heard it on the recorded session, right? Because this has impact, this has human nuances, this has imperfections of the moment and and a touch of, of true essence of live performing. And I think a lot of that has to be highlighted in this. And it, it goes beyond just the four guys from Forestella. This is a whole this is a whole village work, okay? And it's important that we highlight how incredibly dependable every musician and every dancer in this particular show was because it, it's what creates a conglomerate boom effect. Yeah. And I think that's what really is highlighted in this particular angle also because the audio is not the most refined either. You are really getting to feel the whole live show experience. Yeah. And it's just well, it's I mean, I, amazing. I'm pretty sure the audio, you know, for those experiencing it live there was very different to the one we got. But it, it, you know, there is a, a, a big show sound, a big show feel, you know, big show EQ, which is very different to obviously the, the studio show. But uh, ironically enough, I think that's what makes Forestella so good. Um, it's not only the fact that they're really good solo artists, but the fact that they can then adapt as a quartet um, and still shine as individuals and then shine as a group, but then also they can adapt adapt into a fucking 12 piece uh, production. Uh, production. And yeah. then they, obviously it's like a 24 piece production because you also have about 12 musicians uh, on the show playing instruments. And then you have what, two, four, six, eight, ten 10 singers, backup singers, mm -hmm. female and males. And then they're also dancers. Um, it's outstanding. It's, it's really good to see. That's what I mean by the, they can do pieces that are super complicated. Mm -hmm. um, their and versatility very, is literally infinite. Yeah, and very artistic, uh, very difficult in technical stands mm -hmm. from def uh, technical standpoints. But they can also do things that are more complicated in terms of production, but not the hardest piece they have done singing wise. Correct. Um, I actually think this is probably the the one, one of, of the, the easiest, easiest. Yeah. In terms of for their vocals and their vocal capabilities, I think they're pretty chill with this. Their diction was outstanding, impeccable. right? It's, it's really cool to see them sort of. And it has nothing to do with the language barrier. I must, I no. must emphasize this. Well, at this, this. point, no, because we've seen him do bloody, you know, in Spanish, in English, in Korean, in Japanese. In... No, I must emphasize it because I, I don't think it has anything to do with the language barrier, not English not being their first language. I want it to be a, a true, honest compliment because yeah. there's nothing harder than coming through with diction in a really big production like this and then still being able to pick out every single word every single uh, emphasis and and change of the inflection through the diction they do such beautiful work when it comes to that their technicalities technicalities are really truly impressive well <laughs> there you have it ladies and gentlemen for Estella. Yeah. Uh, let us know what you guys would like us to check out next. If there's any other performances or any other videos, I'm more than happy as well to check out any other Korean sort of uh, uh, shows and... Um, any other vocal groups, yeah, anything that comes around. Very intrigued. Korea goes, Korean's uh, music industry is very deep. Um, it's Goated. Not, absolutely, yeah, it's one of our favorites. So let us know perhaps if you can help us discover even further. And uh, adios.